Welcome to the Revit Series E4 brought to you by BIM Technologies. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create uh, slanted walls in the Revit project. So, slanted walls option is introduced in Revit 2021 and further in 2022-23, this option is still there. So, we'll be using Revit 2023 to understand how the slanted walls can be created in a Revit project. Now let's go to Revit and see how this can be applied. So here in the model area, you can see there are four walls. They are all vertical walls. We wanted to have one of the wall to be slanted. Let's say we pick this wall and we wanted to make it slanted. And also we want that the adjoining wall to the uh, selected wall should also adhere to the slant of this particular wall. Now, let's say if you wanted to make this a slanted wall, select the wall in the project and then here in the properties palette, you can see that in the cross section definition, the cross section option is assigned as vertical. So you need to select the slanted option here and in the slanted option here, you can see that particular angle is given over here. By default, it is zero degree. You can change it to 45 degree. You can see how the slant works. So it is going outward. Similarly, if you give a minus value or a negative value over here, you can see it will be slanting inward. And also you can see alternatively, there is a angle parameter which is developed once you select the slanted wall and you can change the angle as desired as you want it to have. Now, this is basically the angle that is happening. And subsequently, you can see that the uh, walls which are joined to the slanted walls are also changing its profile. Now, let's say if we wanted to add a door or a window to the slanted wall, how it reacts. Now, let's say in the architecture, I take a door over here into the slanted walls and in the 3D view, you can see that the door is basically created horizontally. Now, if you wanted to align this door to a slanted wall, select the doors and here in the properties, there is an orientation option under the constraint head. Now, select the option vertical over here, click on the drop down and select the slanted. You can see the wall the door is basically aligned to the face of the slanted wall. Similarly, if you have a window, let's say if I take a window of 850-900 and insert it over here, the same thing happens. It will be a vertical window that would be uh, uh, inserted over here. You can select this window and change the alignment to the slanted option. Now, I can change the properties of the slanted wall at any moment of time. Let's say if I wanted to make it any properties, it will be changed. Uh, I'm changing the type of the walls. And similarly, if any wall, if you want to have a slant and later on, if you wanted to basically create a slant wall into a curtain wall, the slanted, the wall is slanted. And then you can see the option over here, you can change it to a curtain wall. Let's say I wanted to make it into a custom curtain wall option. So similarly, uh, let's say I want to take it a different curtain wall. Let's say I wanted to have it as a storefront. Now you can see that this is happening over here. Now here, the other thing that you can see that the wall adjoining to the curtain wall is not changing. So you need to basically change the profile of the wall, which we will see in the later part of the video. How can we basically change the profile of the wall adjoining wall change adhering to the change of the curtain wall hope uh, uh, this video you has given you an insight of how the walls can be slanted different options that is there in the revit 2023 in order to create the slanted walls uh, we will be having more videos on revit fundamentals and advance in our uh, video series keep tuned up and uh, definitely like our videos and share our videos and subscribe it to know more about our recent videos in the YouTube channel. Thank you so much.